This video is going to explain how to use the clouds, which, as you recall in the basics video, um, I explained how they were derived 26 periods ahead of the current candle. So I'm not going to go into explaining that again. That's in the basics video. But here we've got the SPX over a period of, um, of three years. And I want to just look at four different areas in the um, S&P 500 index and their forward-looking clouds and then relate that to where we are today. So let's go back to this area here and let's just examine this cloud, this portion of the cloud. On this particular day, when the candle had just come down and broken through the 50 and broken through the top of the cloud, we were able to see as much of the cloud as is shown in this green box. That represents 26 days. So there were no candles, okay? There were no candles here. All we had was this candle and 26 period cloud up ahead. We saw a rise in the cloud, but we saw a foreshadowing of the beginning of a reversal that could be happening 26 days out. When we failed the 50, although the cloud was going up, price was going down, plateaued, it came up to test the cloud and just at the point where on this day, back in May, probably May the 12th, the cloud was telling us that around June 14th we could potentially have a reversal. Now by the time we got to this day and the reversal occurred, now we have a new 26 day window and we can see that truly there is a continued reversal period ahead. But as every day moved along here, this cloud, if you activate the drawing, as every day moved along, this cloud moved and gave us more visibility to um, a steepening reversal. So let's go to the next one. We've gone through this period now where the candles have come up and tested the top of the cloud and got rejected. So on this day here, after we've had one, two, three tests of the top of the cloud and rejection, we finally have a little pop up. So we look 26 days ahead and what is the cloud telling us? It's telling us that 26 days from now, um, actually before that, so right here, what would that be, maybe 20 or 18 days? We have the potential for a reversal, and that's what happened. Let's move ahead to the next example. Everything's going along great. I'm not going to talk about this little shallow thing here, but the same would apply to it. Um, right here on this day, as we've broken through the cloud, We've, we're sitting here wondering, without the cloud, where are we going? I mean, what does it look like a month from now? With the aid of the cloud looking 26 days ahead, we see continued flatness in the market. So we had flat, and we had up to come and play around with the top of the cloud, a little break. But we already knew back here that after mid-July, we had the potential for a reversal. Again, let's move this cloud now to here, where we saw a break in the cloud. And we're thinking, great, we might be off to the races. We've now got, we're now approaching this high. And hey, right here, we've actually broken that high. We're off to the races, right? So let's move our candle here, or sorry, our cloud here, to this day. People are thinking we've broken that high, we're off to the races, but what would Ichimoku players be seeing? They would be seeing this cloud ahead. They're not going as far as seeing this potential reversal, but they're seeing this cloud and they're getting prepared not for a breakout, but for some downward action. And that's what happened. Let's go ahead to the next example. Here we've been through a pretty bad period, uh, flat for several months, 
market's not doing well. We're in, don't even know what year, we're in 2010. So we've come up, we're hitting a new high level here. We look to be on the upswing. Let's move the drawing to right here. Everything looks really great for the market. What are Ichimoku players seeing? Ichimoku people are seeing this portion of the cloud as not looking particularly good for us, but the future, 20 days out, shows a potential reversal. So cloud players will get, be getting prepared not for necessarily for a breakout, but for further erosion. And that's what happened. And then we did have the breakout exactly where the Ichimoku cloud told us it would happen. So here, we could have placed um, a pot odds that on this day, we might see some improvement in the market, and we did. So now let's go through to today, or sorry, yesterday, where we closed with this hammer. And what is the Ichimoku cloud telling us? It's telling us that we're going to have a difficult time taking out this high because the cloud has stopped its upward motion and now is into a flat period. I am very curious to see as the next week unrolls what happens here and if we'll be able to call an end of June uh, reversal and a summer dip as we've seen so many other summers before. I hope this video is helpful.